Crescent City Art Project is a local nonprofit organization that's committed to transforming school and community landscapes through artwork. Uh, this artwork is created by Crescent City Art Project and then completed by volunteers throughout service projects uh, within the year. And this October we have a big project coming up. We're doing 1,000 paintings in one day. Um, we're using 1,900 people in order to make that dream come true. It's going to be for 25 schools here in the city. They're all going to get 56 paintings as well as five reading tile benches. I put an ad on Craigslist looking for volunteers to help do the sketching of the images that I created. Um, and the response is pretty overwhelming. Um, I wish my space was big enough to accommodate more people, but um, I've had people come steadily every day for the last two weeks. We're actually ahead of the game now. We're at 18 schools. We're close to our completed 25 schools. Um, it's very exciting. We're looking to get about 150 volunteers for the day of the event at the convention center with Starbucks. We need those people to help team lead um, about 2,000 volunteers that they're sending us um, for the project. Uh, we prefer, like to have them be artistic, but you don't necessarily have to be artistically inclined. We're also having the schools participate by sending some of their faculty members to help facilitate the day's event. Anybody who can not only be there on hand, but also lend their story of life in New Orleans post-Katrina. He does a great job of getting everyone involved so volunteers can get in there that don't necessarily have a ton of art background, but the jobs that he's giving them all come together very artistically and very beautifully, so it creates a very nice product. The ones in the library for sure get some of our students' attention and they talk about them and point them out and say, pick their favorite ones and talk about how they've created the, the images that they have. So. I definitely just think, again, it, it adds so much to the culture of schools and having kids be able to feel a great sense of pride in their campus. One day in February, our buildings and our walls went from white, plain, drab, lack of color to filled with color, emotion. The color has added so much life and enthusiasm to the hallways that the boys and girls, when they enter, forget that they're working in a modular building. My school has a bunch of pictures that are fantastic, and I love them all. There are so many different kinds that can mean different things. Most of them mean to do hard work in our schoolwork. Most of them mean to be kind to others and be polite. This one by Harvey is it's, it's just a pretty pit in the pit of mural. It, it, it makes me realize that, that the world can be a beautiful place if you just think about it.